Welcome to our demonstration on Studio in the Cloud for digital content creation. What we'll see in this demo is a team of artists creating and collaborating on 3D content entirely in the cloud using a combination of AWS and partner services. Working in the cloud facilitates remote collaboration using scalable compute resources. This allows you to access talent in new geographies, expand your existing production capacity, or spin up an entirely new team for a project. The team is accessing their project data and working on virtual workstations on AWS, utilizing EC2 G4 instances that include the latest NVIDIA T4 GPUs and NVIDIA Quadro technology. These workstations run the tools artists need to create content. The project data for this content is being managed by Amazon FSx. The virtual workstations are mounted to the storage, allowing the team to access the same data, enabling cloud-based collaboration. The team also has access to cloud-based rendering, managed by AWS ThinkBox Deadline and powered by Amazon EC2 Spot instances. Let's take a closer look at how our team is collaborating in the cloud. First, we'll check in on Haley in our San Francisco office. As you can see, she's working in Maya and using Arnold for rendering. While looking at the surface textures and shading in the various elements of the model, she decides that she would like to see more detail in the leather jacket. So she uses Shotgun to send a note to Chris, who's up in Seattle. It's worth noting that here, none of the work is being done on our artist's local systems. All of the software, storage, and compute is in the cloud, running on AWS workstations in the regions, availability zones, or local zones that are closest to our artist's location. Chris sees Haley's note in Shotgun about the changes that she wanted to see in the jacket, and he goes ahead and opens up the model in ZBrush and starts applying the changes that she requested. Now, even though Chris is working on a production pipeline in the cloud, he can still use his Wacom tablet and any other tools he needs, just as if he were using a desktop workstation. Chris goes ahead and sculpts in the additional detail that Haley requested, and because they're on a shared file system, they can collaborate just as if they were in the same office, even though they're miles apart from each other in different cities. So let's go back to Haley in San Francisco. She received Chris's note that he complete the the work she requested, and she can take that work directly into Maya, where she can then apply the new texture maps and see the improved detail right away. When she's done, she can go ahead and, and submit the job using ThinkBox Deadline and the Spot Event plugin, which allows her to spin up as much render power as she needs when she needs it. Deadline is free to use on AWS, and since she's using Spot instances, she's saving up to 90% off on-demand pricing for EC2. The workers show up directly in her AWS console so she can monitor them and see the results of the render once it's completed. Haley can then go ahead and meet with her team so they can all review the work together. Let's check in with the rest of our team and see what they're doing for our production. First, we have Amaru bringing in a full resolution model of an airship so that he can see all of the detail in the model. We have Jason fixing some of the deformations in the character model's neck to make her movements more realistic as she tilts her head back and forth. Next, we have Kat working in Maya, making adjustments in the animation and scrubbing the timeline, just as if she had a powerful workstation at her desk. Joaquin is working in Houdini, adjusting the lighting and some of the effects animations. So again, to emphasize, what's happening here is our team is located all across the United States, but they're using the same workflows and tools that they would use on a workstation at their desk. But these workstations are all in the cloud, and they're getting the same level of performance they would expect as if they were all collaborating on this project in the same location. Finally, we have Dave, who's doing some compositing and making real-time adjustments in Nuke. He can then switch over to work in Premiere and can do all of his work just as if he was using a powerful workstation at his desk. Once everyone's done, we see the team meeting to review the final project. So to recap, all of this work was being done in the cloud with the team collaborating remotely on AWS services and partner solutions, accelerating their creativity and productivity. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration. For more information, please visit us at awsthinkbox.com.